Hey everyone, in this video, we remember some celebrities who died on this day, November 12th, and in recent days. Please comment below and subscribe to our channel to help us grow our family with you. Stan Lee, born on December 28, 1922, and died on November 12, 2018. Stan Lee was an American comic book writer, editor, publisher, and producer. He worked his way up through the ranks of the family business that would become Marvel Comics, Timely Publications. He served as the company's chief creative head for 20 years as it grew from a publishing house division into a multimedia powerhouse in the comics and cinema sectors. Spider-Man, The X-Men, Iron Man, Thor, The Hulk, Ant-Man, The Wasp, The Fantastic Four, Black Panther, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, The Scarlet Witch, and Black Widow are just some of the Marvel heroes he collaborated on creating with others. Even though Lee had left Marvel in the 1990s, he was still the company's public face. He made several cameos in movies and TV shows based on Marvel characters, for which he was often listed as an executive producer. In 2008, he was awarded the country's highest artistic honor. Lee died on November 12, 2018, in Los Angeles. Yvette Menu, born on January 8, 1942, and died on January 17, 2022. American actress Yvette Carmen Mimuse worked in both film and television. The Time Machine was her breakthrough film. Throughout her acting career, she received three Golden Globe Award nominations. As a 17-year-old in 1959, she made her acting debut on the episodes of the television shows Yancey Derringer and One Step Beyond. Mimiuk's first appeared as a guest on an episode of Mr. Lucky before landing a lead role in the smash hit teen comedy Where the Boys Are. She appeared in both The Legend of Valentino and the Canadian horror film Journey into Fear in 1975. Mimiuk's passed away on January 18, 2022, just after her 80th birthday at her Los Angeles residence. William Holden, born on April 17, 1918, and died on November 12, 1981. William Holden was a popular American actor who thrived in the 1950s. The film Stalag 17 earned Holden an Oscar for Best Actor, and the TV movie The Blue Knight earned him a Primetime Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Limited Series or Movie. Holden played the lead role in a number of hugely popular and well-reviewed Hollywood movies. These include Sunset Boulevard, Sabrina, Picnic, The Bridge on the River Quay, The Wild Bunch, and Network. Six times he was chosen as one of the top 10 stars of the year, and the American Film Institute ranked him as the 25th best male star of classic Hollywood cinema. Holden bled to death on November 12, 1981, at his Santa Monica home when he slipped on a rug while drunk and banged his head on a bedside table, causing a deep cut across his forehead. Bobby Rydell, born on April 26, 1942, and died on April 5, 2022. Bobby Rydell was an American singer and actor. He was best known for his work in rock and roll and traditional pop music. He was a major celebrity among young people in the early 1960s. The 1963 musical film Bye Bye Birdie featured him, and some of his best-known songs include Wildwood Days, Wild One, and Vola. His 1980s group, The Golden Boys, also included Frankie Avalon and Fabian Fort, two other former adolescent heartthrobs. Von Lewis plays Rydell in the opening sequences of Green Book, which won the Academy Award. On April 5, 2022, at the age of 79, Rydell passed away at Jefferson Abington Hospital from pneumonia-related complications. Jonathan Brandis, born on April 13, 1976, and died on November 12, 2003. Jonathan Gregory Brandis was an American actor. Brandis started as a kid model, then moved on to commercials, then TV, and finally cinema. In 1982, Brandis made his acting debut on the soap opera One Life to Live, playing the role of Kevin Buchanan. The 1990 miniseries, it featured him as Bill Denbro. 
In the 1990 sequel to The Neverending Story, he played the role of Bastian Box. He played juvenile genius Lucas Wollensack on the NBC series Sequest DSV when he was just 17 years old, back in 1993. Teenagers flopped to see Brandis on screen, and he was a frequent cover star in adolescent publications. Brandis was discovered dead by hanging in the hallway of his Los Angeles apartment on November 11, 2003. Eve Arden, born on April 30, 1908, and died on November 12, 1990. American actress Eve Arden appeared in movies, radio dramas, theater, and television. In a career spanning nearly 60 years, she played both main and supporting roles. Arden made a screen debut in the RKO Radio Pictures Drama Stage Door in 1929, and she made her Broadway debut in the early 1930s. She went on to star in the comedies Having a Wonderful Time and At the Circus, starring alongside the Marx Brothers. She was nominated for an Academy Award for her supporting performance in Mildred Pierce. Later, Arden won the first Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lee Actress in a drama series for her role in Our Miss Brooks as a sarcastic but charming high school teacher. Arden passed away at home due to arteriosclerotic heart disease and cardiac arrest on November 12, 1990. Thank you for watching our video and remembering those celebrities who have passed. Feel free to share your thoughts on which famous person is your favorite. Please subscribe to our channel to continue receiving videos like this and to become a member of our family.